As you know, my name is Kainton the Genius, and today we are we are going to begin with a brand new uh, course that is Node.js or Node.js. So this is the first class. Between now and the next two or three months, we should be able to complete Node.js. I'm going to be really fast. I'm going to be uh, very clear and to the point. One thing I want to tell you about Node.js is that everything you need to know about it, all the tools you need is free. And also it's based on Java, JavaScript. So if you have some knowledge of JavaScript, that would be very good. But if not, no problem. You are going to still follow. So I'm going to also remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you want to follow this course between now all the way till finish, subscribe so that anytime I make a new course, you get notified immediately and you have opportunity to follow it. If you also have some comments, some challenges following this course, you leave it in the comment below so that I can respond and give you the needed support and you can continue moving. So click on subscribe button, the red button below this video to subscribe. At least you get me motivated to continue working. So I really don't like all these theories. I really want us to quickly go install Node.js and start working. But these theories, uh, it seems is a bit important for you to have some background knowledge of Node.js. For the first few minutes, I'm going to tell you what Node.js is all about. The first thing we want to know about Node.js is that it is an open source server environment. Now, what do you know about Server? You know that Server is used to host a web application. When you build an application, you host it in a server or deploy it to a server so that people will be able to access the web pages of this web application. And in this case, you are building your server uh, using Node.js. So you don't have to uh, create a server or, or get a server application where you can now deploy. In this case, you are building the server as you are building the clients. Note that JS is free, so we can download it after now. You see how we download it, set it up, and start using it. It runs on various platforms, and also it is based on JavaScript. Uh, before now, you know that JavaScript or script runs on client. But in this case, this hierarchy has been broken. We run uh, the server using Node.js. So everything, both the server and the client, we are going to build it using Node.js in this tutorial. So what can you do with Node.js? You can generate dynamic page content, like you can also uh, read, write, delete, or manipulate files that are on server. You can collect forms. People fill form on a web, uh, web application, submit. Node.js can collect it. Add, delete, modify data on database. So basically, everything can be done with Node.js that you can do with any other conventional application development uh, tool. So let's get started. So what do we need to install? We will install Node.js, install Visual Studio Code, test Node.js installation, and run your first script. So this is what we are going to cover in this tutorial. So let's start with installing Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is actually an editor that you use to write code. So if you have another editor, let's say Atom or maybe um, Notepad++, but I recommend you use Visual Studio Code. The reason is because it gives you an integrated command line where you can actually run your Node.js code. So please uh, install Visual Studio Code. It is free and also easy to install. So let's install it now. Install Node.js and now test our application. So I'm going to end this presentation and let's just uh, go and install Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to open my browser so just go ahead to Visual, Visual Studio Code download. So now if you go to Visual Studio Code download at this point, now take notes because the, you need to be careful and install the, the right one. It's better you use the user installer 64B because my Windows uh, is 64B. If you are using Linux, also you can use any of these on Mac, you can use this. So I'm installing on Windows, so I am actually going to click on this and it's going to start downloading as you can see here. All right, so if it downloads, we are going to check where it is saved. It takes a couple of seconds and I think it's completed. So if I open the location in folder, I'm going to show you. So if I open my downloads folder, OK, 
okay i'm going to open it right from here and i'm going to show you node.js downloaded and, and we are going to install it so you can see node uh, version 10.15.1 for windows 64 msi installer so just double click it and start installing it now if you go next you can see i've installed it but in case you are running it for the first time follow it right from beginning to end don't change anything don't uh, well, try to modify the installation defaults allow you to install all right okay i think what we actually did install uh, is visual studio code so i think that this is an error so visual studio code so i i downloaded it so you can see vs code a user setup so i also downloaded node.js so quickly let me show you where to download node.js from so it's nodejs.org so at this point you just have two items there so download the first one now i'm going to stop this download because i already have downloaded it so the first one you are installing is visual studio code and install node.js now when you install node.js it actually does not show up in your program files it's okay of course this is it but you cannot really do anything much except this command line so let's leave it so after installing the two things you can restart your system and then we can open visual studio code so once you open visual studio code what we want to do is to open the terminal okay so in the menu bar you can see terminal so if you open it you can just click on new terminal so if you click on new terminal you can see this section is a new terminal that has been opened so go ahead to check if node.js is installed by typing node minus v like node version so if you type node minus v it gives you uh, version 10.15.1 as of the time of this tutorial maybe your version might be a little different so to just double check you can open command prompt in your system and also do the same thing and say node minus v and you can see that it gives us exactly the same thing and now the same this is actually the same command line but this is an integrated co command line all right so let's write our first script if, before you write a first script there is better you organize your files in a folder so let's create a folder first so just click on file and choose open folder and then in your documents i want to create a new folder and i'm going to call it notes uh, js tutorials tutorials one okay so i'm going to select it right now so the next thing I'm going to do is to create a new file. So you can you can actually say file and choose new file. On this file, I'm going to call it app.js. So I'm just going to say file and I'm going to save it as app.js. So once you've created a folder, and this way, then you create a file, automatically that file saves inside this folder. So call it app.js, you can leave the, the saver style to be the, the way it is and just say save. So now we've set up Visual Studio Code, we've set up node.js, now let's write our first script. This is the, first, the, the, the interesting part of it. So just say console, so you can see that uh, Visual Studio Code gives you intelligence, makes it easy for you to, to write console.log. Um, then I'm going to say welcome to node.js tutorial okay so I'm going to close it with a semicolon because it's based on JavaScript so how do we run this again open your terminal and just yeah so we have the terminal open so what you can just do is simply say node and just say app Js. So just say node app.js and you can see uh, nodejs app.js. Uh, I think there has been a problem. Console.log. 
okay we're going nodes ah hmm okay let's try to let's see I think everything is okay so it says the time node.js is not recognized this is fine uh, nodes that's node app.js supposed to display the output so let's see um, okay let's see let me see open folder So, okay, so this is the same. This is console.log. And I'm going to say welcome to node.js. And I'm going to close it and I'm going to save, file, save. And in this place, just say node app.js. Okay. So this is basically how it's supposed to work. Uh, let me open the previous one I was trying to work on. Open folder, and it's, it's not the JS one. Select folder. Okay. So this is where we are trying to. I think the console. Dot log. Nodes JS. It's actually one word. Tutorial. Alright. So in our terminal, so simply say node app.js. So this is quite strange. Okay, so so I think um, if you follow this instruction the way I did, then you will get it working. So I want to believe that I may not have saved the previous one because if you say nodes up to yes, so you can see it displays the message "Welcome to node.js, right? So this is what you are going to get, and I'm going to end this tutorial now. Try to play around with uh, a different pace and run it by yourself. And one thing you want to know is debugging skills is very important. So you might encounter error, find a way to debug it, solve it yourself, play around the environment. And this is where I'm going to end. I'd like to thank you for viewing, and in the next tutorial, we are going to now start setting up a complete application with Node.js. I'm going to like to remind you to subscribe to my channel, also like the video and leave a comment for me if this has been informative for you.